Hello everyone, welcome to Hackstack Tutorials Reusable Components Part 3. In this tutorial, we will talk about Select Field, a field with multiple options and integrated with React Bootstrap and also using React Hook Form. So let's see what is this combination for. Okay, here's a final product that we will see by the end of this tutorial. We have a text field input, we have a date picker, which we learned in the second tutorial. And now we have a select uh, with multiple selection. So let's see how we can create. Uh, all of these are binded with React hook form and it's created with React Bootstrap. And if I submit the form, you'll see uh, we have some actions to uh, print it in the console. So let's see how we can create this and also it has some validations as well so if you remove some field and it's not validated uh, so we will give error by the bottom of the screen so let's okay in past two sessions we learned how to add the input field and date picker field but now we are trying to add a multiple options a select input so I'll go briefly over the things that we learned. We have a profile page. Inside of the profile page, we have a component called personal information form. That if I go to this personal information form, you will see that it has uh, different fields. The two fields that we had from the previous tutorial was the input field, which was the type text. And the second one is type date. And now for, uh, this tutorial we added select field if you notice it is not using the same component that we were using for input field for dead picker and text field it is using its own picker uh, floating select field this is a new field that is created and we can go to this uh, component and see what it does basically it is using the react bootstrap form group again and it is using the floating label that we talked in, I think, the first session of this reusable component series. Uh, and basically, you can pass the label to it and some class name if you want. All of these uh, properties are optional. So if you want to pass some class name, you can pass it into it. If you want to pass the label, I think label is the only one that is uh, mandatory. Yeah. As you can see, it doesn't have the question mark, so it means that it is uh, necessary to pass it. And it makes sense because uh, this select needs to have some label. Uh, and then the select itself. So we also pass the options into the select. And uh, as you can see, the first option is uh, nothing and it's disabled. As you can see here, select options here is this and these are the options that we have and then uh, uh, we have error messages so if there is if user has not selected the uh, option or any other validations that we want to use uh, it will show the error message at the bottom of the field and also if you want to modify the value it also has the props for the value all of the properties of this uh, components are listed here and uh, i think the, the only one that we didn't talk is required so if the field is required uh, we can pass this component as well so that's a brief explanation for this component so we can pass the properties into the component like this one uh, floating select field uh, currently we passed the required we passed the label we passed options I'll talk about options it's very simple right now I just pass a uh, string array for the countries uh, but we can talk to send some uh, function that returns the co uh, countries uh, anything is uh, doable here and like the other fields that we had here for React um, hooks uh, for, we need to uh, pass the register. And this is the field name that we selected 
and that's as the first argument and for validations we have uh, the required so and required message uh, is different from required message of the um, input field that's why we have a different message here so it's required input field but this one is required select message and I defined it at the top so uh, it says required input message is uh, fill out the field so whenever they have not filled out the field uh, we pass this message to the user and if they have not selected any option we will pass this option which is select an option so these are the uh, two messages that we have and uh, our HOC component uh, is the same we have not changed it for this um, select options and we can use it as is and this is the third field that we added to our okay one last thing about this component is uh, when we define a default value so I added a default value of empty string and it means that every time that it will load the page it should not pre-select any country and this way we force the user to select a country if we just don't add it it will pre-select one country and we cannot validate if user actually selected that field or not uh, but if we add this default value equal to uh, empty then it will pre-select this option which is by default disabled we added we hard-coded this option at the top of the field so if I click on it you will see that it has a check mark right here but it is disabled the next time the user selects something they cannot reuse or reselect this uh, disabled field that's how you can trick it and uh, force the user to select one option from the drop down so yeah right now if i click submit it will get select an option error that we have and if they select an option uh, it will check mark it means that it is correct but they cannot reselect the disabled field that's a, a other trick that you can have for your select component and uh, this is uh, the react component react bootstrap uh, feedback that I'm using for the error showing the error messages underneath the fields and by default it's hidden and if uh, react hook form sees that there is an error it will uh, show this error to the user that's all for this tutorial